look at Dennis Oil now. I'm saying he's thinking. I can seriously get hurt doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just don't go out toward the road. No footer, no footer, no footer, no footer. No footer, no footer, no footer. All right. All right, Travis. This boy's been playing ball all his life. Nothing to him. Okay, well happy Thursday afternoon to you all. It is uh, Thursday, May 12th, and I am headed out to the Sabine National Forest to ride uh, in the Texas Tiddlers Challenge this weekend. Uh, it starts today, uh, everybody's going to be moto camping out there for two or three days, and uh, the event goes from uh, today through Sunday. Anyway, I've got to get on the road because it's hot out here. I don't know what the temperature is. I didn't look. All I know is it's hot. I'm sweating. It's time to go. So, uh, I'm going to head out uh, on the uh, side roads, back highways as much as possible, and stay away from the super slab, and we'll see how the trip goes. Got an extra camera or two floating around here. I've got uh, my GoPro 8 down here. I'll probably use that as a uh, time lapse later in the trip. Uh, I was going to bring my 360, but I didn't have time to... Oops, it's coming off. Uh, I didn't have time to... Uh, fashion up a mount get it off the side of the bike whatever and just running late today and i'm hot i'm ready to go but uh i'll probably spin this thing around and uh, have it facing the other way and just do a time lapse uh, it's not on a fixed portion of the frame so uh every time i turn the handlebars it's going to turn that's less than ideal but eh, whatever sort it out I really don't want to make this a huge video production uh, trip. I would much rather just throw some random shots of uh, the road and me doing stuff uh, because I just want to relax. I've been a little stressed out lately. Uh, work, money, all kinds of different things. Uh, and then there was the Navi giveaway that was kind of big uh, time and uh, I don't really want to call it an emotional commitment. It was just a time commitment. Uh, chewing up a lot of my brain cells so uh, it's still pending I need to organize time with the uh, winner Kyle and uh, have uh, some coordination done to uh, have it shipped up to him in uh, Boise Idaho so anyway uh, this is just gonna be a relaxing weekend for me I hope <laughs> just get out and enjoy the uh, scenery and the back roads and have a little bit of fun on that uh, Tiddler's challenge Okay, welcome back to the afternoon in progress. <laughs> These little uh, love bugs are everywhere. Oh my God, when you look at the front of the bike, it is just carnage, absolute carnage. Look at this. I don't know if it comes out well on camera. <laughs> just, it's horrible. <clears throat> my visor was totally covered in these things. My gloves are covered in them. My jacket was covered in them. And uh, I had to wash off my visor over at Whataburger. Stop there to get some food. And uh, I'm right next door, just down the street, I guess, and I uh, picked up some fuel. I was 168 miles, I think it was, 165-ish, something like that, and took uh, 1.78 gallons. A little overfill, spilled everywhere, it's okay. Uh, yeah, so the scoot is doing uh, about 100 and, or right at 100 miles to the gallon, I think 102-ish, something like that, quick math says. Uh, big holes, damn. Uh, I'll be meeting up with uh, one of my YouTube subscribers uh, coming up in San Gabriel, Texas, uh, Glenn Johnson. He is on uh, his Trail 125. Damn, these are big holes. Um, 
he's on his trail 125 and I forget which city he's coming out of but uh, he said uh, looking at my route and his route uh, it looks like we can kind of intersect up here at about uh, 40 or 50 miles in uh, San Gabriel so that's the way I'm headed going to take 103 here up to 147 I think it is and that'll take us right into the Sabine Forest right near our campgrounds. Uh, Kevin just checked in with me a minute ago he said that he just stopped uh, somewhere Nacogdoches uh, stopped in Nacogdoches for uh, lunch and uh, I told him that I had just eaten at Whataburger and my ETA is about 3.30 3.45 something like that so I think he'll get there a little bit before I will he's a little ahead of me Anywho, more of this, more of the road. Not going to be any fun until we get there, I think. But I'll uh, check back in with you when I meet up with uh, Glenn. So we'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> All right, so I just met up with Glenn. I was uh, hauling ass down the road here, and I passed the San Augustine sign. And I thought, oh man, I need to stop and take a picture. So I started to slow down, and I looked in my rearview mirror, and I saw a motorcycle headlight way back. And... Uh, I thought, you know, I bet that's him, or Kevin, one of the two. <laughs> sure enough, I whooped a Yui here, and uh, he was coming this way, and I flagged him down, so. All right. We'll get a rolling. So I'll keep my speeds down to uh, 50, 52, somewhere in that ballpark, and his cub should be able to keep up. He said he's doing 52 to 55, so. Oof. Man, as soon as we stop, you just melt. Terribly humid out here. It's hot. So, we got a turn coming up here in about a mile. That's kind of where I was planning to stop up here uh, and send him a text, see where he was. He said that uh, we should be able to coincide right about here, and that's how it worked out. He must have turned left uh, on this road because he said he, he came across. So. All right, what do we got besides railroad tracks? Big bumps. And we still have a half a mile to Main Street. Oh, man, it's hot. Moving isn't too bad. But God, as soon as you sit still for a minute, especially in the sun. I think the temps are about 93, 94 right now with high humidity, so it's uh, steamy. So this will be my first trip to this side of the uh, Sabine National Forest. I've been through it a couple times, but I've never stayed there to motor camp. So uh, this will be uh, a new trip. There's Kevin. stop and see what Kevin says up here. I don't know what that is. It's like some kind of a party pad or something. Who knows what that is? I don't even know. It's like an observation deck or something. Boop, de boop, boop. All right, on we go. 17 more miles to Shelbyville. I don't know how far to the uh, actual campsite, but we'll find out as we go. All right, well, happy Friday morning to you all. It's almost uh, Friday afternoon, not quite. It's uh, about 11, I guess. I don't know, I haven't even looked at the clock. I don't really care. We are headed out to get lunch. Uh, we gotta go you know, 18 or 20 miles down the road over here. And uh, so I can get my other camera on, get another perspective on the world. 
Yeah, that thing's been pissing me off. There's something wrong with my Hero 8. I don't know what it is. It doesn't want to turn on. Uh, I have to do a power reset on it by pulling the battery out of it constantly. So I can get one recording out of it, but when I turn it off, it will not turn back on unless I power reset it. Anyway, long story short, audio sync. Okay. So we are uh, riding back to uh, Center, Texas, I think it is. Uh, there's a Dairy Queen or something that the guys want to go to, so we get a foot-long chili cheese dog and uh, finish it off with a soft serve ice cream. So Neil rolled in last night just a little bit before dark. He beat the sun and uh, we all set up at the same campsite. We got water, we got power, we got everything we need. Nice open grass lot. And uh, a few of the trees are just the right distance for us to hang our hammocks, so perfect. And we have no plans today. Uh, there are apparently no uh, events going on. Uh, even though this was advertised to be Thursday through uh, Sunday, there's nothing going on until Saturday, and that's the official ride day or the event. So uh, we're just hanging out, killing time today. I like this place though, it's nice. Uh, a little humid out here, but the bugs aren't terrible. Uh, there are a few mosquitoes, but it's not overrun. So at least this time of year, uh, I guess it's okay. Uh, temperature last night was pretty good. It's almost ideal for hammock camping or tent camping. It got down to uh, 68 or 69 degrees overnight. Uh, there was absolutely zero breeze. It was totally dead still. So it was a little humid. And, stuffy until the temperature dropped far enough but once I got to sleep I was out. Game over. Woke up this morning with the sunrise right around 6 a.m. And this uh, campsite that we're staying at is six dollars a day. That's it. And you get power and water. It's fantastic. Six bucks a day. Can't complain about that. And before anybody mentions it, yes, I'm riding without my jacket or my gloves on right now. My gloves are under the seat, but I didn't feel like putting the jacket on because it's, uh, it's a little humid. <laughs> we tried to pull the variator apart on this thing. Uh, we, uh, I pulled the floorboard plastic and pulled the variator cover bolts and everything off of it and then uh, just before I knocked off the cover uh, Neil was digging through his uh, tool bag to see if he had a uh, an appropriately sized socket to get the variator nut off unfortunately no uh, we need a 22 millimeter and he had a, uh, a 19 and a 24 uh, so we didn't have a 22 mil to pull this off and uh, we don't have a pin holder that'll fit my variator to be able to crank on that thing and get that nut off of there you know, 45 or 50 pound feet whatever's on it but I don't know we might jack with it later uh, but I definitely have at least a couple of my sliders returned in this thing again because uh, it bogs down won't get off the line very well so I won't be doing the slow speed races or any of that stuff today on this because it, it can't go slow speed it either goes or it doesn't go I'll just video a bunch of this stuff. Uh, apparently they're supposed to have the slow speed competition. They're gonna have a uh, carburetor toss for the ladies, an engine toss uh, competition for the gentlemen. I don't know how big the engines are. Uh, there's gonna be the slalom cones, and then one of the variations on the slalom cones is uh, they're gonna put balls. I don't know if they're ping pong balls or you know, what, maybe tennis balls probably. Something with some weight. Uh, you weave through the cones and you pick up the uh, the ball as you're going by. I don't know how many of them there are, but you've got to pick it up and circle around without touching your feet down, I guess, and uh, go back and place it back on the cone and complete the course without hitting the cone or knocking the ball off or losing the ball. <laughs> that ought to be fun. I'll watch that. Here's the DQ.
Felicia doesn't slide downhill. Because <laughs> my parking brake does not work. <laughs> yeah. Just don't go out toward the road. <laughs> Not even close. Not even close. You didn't get halfway. Did all right. I think she's as close as so far. Starts it blindfolded. All right. There's a pro. Stop before you get to the road. <laughs> yes, yeah, stop before you hit the highway. He almost got it on the first try before he hit it again. Got it right on it. Put a divot there, all right.
pretty close. Not bad at all. <laughs> oh, 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 lift it.
sidling up. Oh, no, we lost one. Lost two of them on the ground back there. <laughs> a basket. We're a basket around the deck or something to hang on to. Yeah, a lot of times. On this game, I never seen do that. <laughs> well, I started to turn around. Taking it with. Still had it. Yep. Turn around, try it again. Are you yeah. going to have your helper get the ball for you? The rules or not. My buddy that's pulling the trailer behind the Zuma. That's what we were talking about. Let's go steal a kid somewhere. Put the kid on the back of the trailer. Right, there you, go. <laughs> you gotta phrase that different. Yeah, exactly. Like, I gotta borrow a kid. I gotta borrow this kid for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last time I stole a kid. Uh, <laughs> I still can't go to your public library, <laughs> damn it. Last time I stole a kid, they wouldn't do that. Just All right. Oh, 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 oh he's, he's getting it. He's getting it. That's three. That's three. That's three. We might have a perfect score here. No feet, no feet, no footer, no footer, no footer, no footer. No footer, no footer, no footer. All right. All right, Maverick. This boy's been playing ball all his life. I think nothing to him. All right. I got the tank on. Huh? Right here, look. I'll take the distraction off for you. Whatever you're ready, buddy. Harm, son. You can't get some rap for you. <laughs> it's gonna be there. Just hang on to him. He's off the casual. That might work. Getting slow. I didn't, I didn't know what you do. Can you break formation? <laughs> didn't well, get that one on there. Well, I guess they can add a time element to it as well. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! I couldn't get it. <laughs> 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 You're supposed to avoid the cone. <laughs> he nailed that one. He center punched it. <laughs> if I'm going out, it's coming with me. Yeah. Get it! Get it, Megan, get it! And we're going to see who can swallow them 
Oh no! Oh, and he saves it. He almost dumped it. Yeah, he did good. And all of a sudden, it ain't. Did you save a bike, though? It gets just brown and smelly real hard. It's just like booming in. Was it that one? No, that wasn't the one that went down, was it? No, no clue. There was a guy on the red one that went down. Next victim. We got anybody else who wants to go? I see somebody cranking up. Coming on in. Yeah, almost the same. And he can do figure eights on that thing, and you can watch the rear tire, and it almost stays dead in line with the rear tire of the scoop. He's got the length of it just right. Yeah. Oh, no, he touched the cone. He didn't knock it over. Oh, no, no one. <laughs> Look at the last one. All right. How many I get? I think you got one. You got one, two, three? Two of them. I counted one. Anybody else? Back in, back in. I'll put it on for you. Anybody else want to go? What happened to our young person? What you need? Yeah, I think we could get hurt here. <laughs> I'm going to move. <laughs> this could be real dangerous. Yeah, you can. I'm gonna see this come up in 3D. I saw that thing the first time, and I was like, "Oh, that ain't nothing." It's heavy. Looks heavy. Probably what, 35, 40 pounds at least. Okay, Chris has been working pretty hard. He's lost a lot of weight. Oh, we got some off Get it, Jesse. You sure you want to do it? I don't know. How far I can throw them on? Start pulling on that dick on the bleeding box. Both hands, use your foot if you want. Both shoulders are hurting now. Just spin like a ballerina. Pretty good. I see how you lost it. That's my spirit. Help me with this stuff. Come on. 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 Hit me, wait. Yeah, on your foot. Look at it, All right. Good job, buddy. Good job. Get him. 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 You'll brain yourself on the way over. <laughs> Ooh, that would hurt. You probably got a little bit more than me, it looked like. You probably weighs as much as you do. I bet you weighs as much as you do. Oh, oh. Where did it roll? Where did it stop? Nah, it goes from where it hit the ground first. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, show it how you did it. Are you going to try and throw that mode? See if you can beat them boys. Oh. Go beat them boys. Go beat them boys. Go beat them boys. Come on, dude. Go beat them boys. I'm like, all red. They're not going to win. 
Am I allowed to throw like a baseball on the strawberry? Uh, baseball. Right. Yeah, that was that was a good throw. It don't matter. All it counts is that you tried. That's all that matters. I don't know if I could. On the other side of the highway? Mm -hmm. In a little bit, maybe. Oh, oh God! <laughs> oh. Dramatic. Lay it half on your own. Where it You can go over there, but I don't want you to go across the highway right now. I'm going to go over there. Like, I don't like. Oh, you get cold water.
everybody welcome back to the friday in progress met a whole bunch of new friends there are a ton of people on small bore bikes uh, scooters and groms and trail 125s and you name it uh, everybody's just uh getting to know everybody and we're talking about the event that's going to go on tomorrow and tonight we are just goofing off it's about six something and i'm riding around with my right signal on uh it's about six something right now the temperature is finally starting to cool off a tiny bit uh, it's been pretty hot all day and now the weather is getting a little better and uh, we're just rolling around getting some uh, forced air conditioning here so neil said hey let's just run down to the end of the road and come back i don't know where the end of the road is but we're gonna find out so i'm gonna wait for a flat spot here and let everybody roll by me so i can see who's who there's one of us on the trail we got a new father and son group that uh, we met up with and they're having fun. Got one on a Trail 125 and one on a little Suzuki uh, GN 250. There he goes. It looks like this is going to be a pretty good turnout. We're going to have, uh, oh man, I'm guessing at least 50 people running this, maybe more, because people are still piling in. Uh, we've already got, I would say, 50 bikes out there. 
It's uh, looking like a good turnout. We might be up to 60 or 70 people by tomorrow morning. It'll take us about uh, you know, a couple hours to do the route comfortably, you know, slowly, no rush. Uh, it's only about uh, 98 miles, I think they said. It's just under 100 miles, so not that big. And uh, everybody will reconverge around noon back there at the campground and then uh, have lunch, cool off for a little while, and then I think they said around 2 o'clock there's another uh, ride that's going to kick off. A uh, slightly different route, uh, same goals, timed kind of a d distance endurance thing. And uh, everybody will get back around 5 o'clock and have uh, dinner and sandwiches and snacks and whatever else goes on and turn in for the night, I guess. So I was thinking of maybe leaving late tomorrow night, but that would mean I'm riding at night and I really don't like doing that on a lot of these rural roads. So I will, uh, whoa, hey, drop. Uh, I will probably leave super early, you know, crack of dawn uh, Sunday morning, pack my gear, you know, previous night, pack it tomorrow night to where I don't have to worry about too much uh, lag time and breaking camp just toss my uh, hammock back in the bag and hit the road and uh, I need to be back in Katy around 10 10 30 in the morning so I'll jump onto uh, 59 and just do the boring super slab all the way home this thing will do 65 70 all the way home so it won't be a problem should be able to get there in about three hours or so three and a half Taking the back roads took me about five hours or so to get up here, but that's not a very direct path and there was a lot of stop and go involved. 